Nah, no. <laughs> feeling bloody cold. I gotta sort this out. I got no central heating. I can afford it. I'm lucky to be able to afford it. I need to sort something out because this is just bloody ridiculous. Um, <laughs> the next book <coughs> that I'm gonna vlog is a bit niche. Um, I could share pictures of it, but I'm not going to bother. But as I said, I'd do a vlog about my charity shop and for our American friends, um, a thrift shop haul that I did today, uh, which is the first of this year. And the first of probably many months, which is not, um, not like me, because... <laughs> <laughs> it used to be a hobby. It's a long backstory. I won't bore you. So the next book. The next book. As I say, it's niche. But I've never come across it before. Um, this one cost me two quid. Two quid. I know it's very probable that my book, book collection, which is extensive, a very valuable, extremely valuable actually, it's worth a lot of money, um, will probably just be deposited in a charity shop one day, because whoever deals with my shite will just be totally fucking ignorant and won't understand the value of what's in it. Which is probably why I've come across so many gems in my my life. <laughs> Regards everything that I've bought from charity shops, you know. People just don't understand. They just don't understand. They alright, go to a charity shop. Let's get rid of it. <laughs> and yet there's wealth. Wealth. Yes, wealth. When you're a wealthy person, you recognize wealth and you sort of covet it and you you work out what your wealth is. I'm sort of borderline that sort of fringe element in society that I think, oh, there's wealth here. <laughs> and I could make steps to ensure that the wealth is held intact and not drip down, trickle down, in fact, and it's a political metaphor, trickle down for the likes of me who have collected this wealth that has come from above. I've got an eBay account. I could put all my collections up on my eBay account and ask stupid prices and just wait wait for someone to come along and say yeah thanks please I, I love that I used to have a client and this is what you do when you, you are a business owner is you have a business um, a company a business and you put it up for sale immediately and you put it up for sale at stupid money you're not actually looking to sell it you're just looking it's it's just like a, a hook in the ocean you know if some stupid fish comes along and bites on that hook you snap it out at the water and i could do this with my collections and as i say the metaphor not that's a metaphor though it isn't it's the actuality is what you do and how people accumulate wealth is they'll buy a house they'll put it on the market straight away even if it's their own dwelling and they'll put it for a stupid price their second home their third home the fourth home the car whatever you just put it up for sale 
the business. See, little people, little people don't know this, do they? They don't know this, you know? You got a collection of ladybird books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what? Oh, you, your grandkids read them. Or you read them and you gave them to your grandkids. And you think, oh, fuck. No, they're not reading them anymore. That's wealth. So you vlog it, market it, put it up on your eBay account for stupid money. Because that's what people do. And stupid people come along with wealth and buy it in the expectation that they will accumulate even more wealth. Am I making any sense here? Probably not, but I hope I am. So this next book is rather niche and I haven't seen it before. I know there's lots of books out there, but I've seen lots of books. I'm surprised I haven't come across this one before because today I came across so many books that I've already got and all seen and all seen but they've been published differently because publishers do that they'll they'll take a book they'll publish it and then they'll jig it around publish it again it's all bullshit but this one is original I haven't seen this one before <coughs> I did wonder if it was a Conway. That that is oh, fuck this. Ah. I did wonder if it was a Conway. I've got several of those. They are published and they cost a lot of money. It's not a Conway. Never mind. No worries. Anyway, here it is. Oh take this barcode off in due course British aircraft carriers hardback send forth see forth sorry see forth publishing no that that's not salamander they were cheap this is see forth publishing and it doesn't matter when it was published it's a very nice book in immaculate condition. Absolutely immaculate. Two quid. To me, that's like a crime. If I went to a book dealer, they'd give me, what, a pound, two quid for this, and they'd flog it for like probably 20 quid. I could Google this, eBay it, Amazon it, whatever. Would be interesting. I should do that with all my books, actually. So here we go. A look inside. It's not working. It's not working, is it? Let's try back here. We're going to go from back to front. All right. And it is, it's pristine, it's brand new. Is it Arthur Daly? I wonder. It's brand new, two quid. It's criminal. The paper is worth more than two quid. The printing is worth more than two quid. Nobody's had any use out of this. Well, I could say the same myself with all my books. It's just... I miss going to the charity shops. It was a hobby, serious hobby of mine. That is just... It's just... I know it's materialism. Um, also, let me let me um, just vlog this. Here we have some books that I've got 
they used to do this. Oh, that has been opened. Look, they said I should be in it. Should be a, an auctioneer or something. So this book has actually has actually been accessed, even though it's absolutely pristine. And I I get books from Amazon delivered new that I've paid a lot of money for, and you'll you'll find the covers. Um, what do they call it? Not the covers. Sleeve, whatever. With a dent. Now, yeah, another thing is when you're posh, when you're posh, the jacket, that's what they call this, the jacket. When you're posh, apparently, you're supposed to rip off the jacket and chuck it. So let me explain. So you take the jacket off like this. And then when it sits on your bookshelf, it looks like this. It looks posh. <laughs> yeah, that was my affair. That's what she did to all her books. Pull the jacket off, put it on the bookshelves. Jesus Christ. <laughs>